This is one of the maintenance workers who survived the layoffs. 134 others did not. Those who still have a job were cut back to a 35-hour week. Housing Authority tenants have complained for a long time about the level of maintenance. So now the big concern is how will the AHA take care of the property with 25% fewer maintenance employees? Acting Director Samuel Hyder would not talk to us today, so we couldn't get an answer to that question. However, AHA officials have said in the past that the reorganization will make for a more efficient operation, and tenants have agreed to pitch in on some of the smaller cleanup jobs, but it's unlikely the complaints will disappear. Also among the victims of budget cutting were the AHA youth centers. Two of the youth organizers were among several laid-off workers lining up for unemployment benefits today. In the wake of the missing and murdered children, they need the community centers open, and uh, there is no one now to run the centers and uh, it's just a bad situation. I think it's tragic and like uh, Maria said in wake of everything that's going on that's my biggest concern the kids and what's going to happen to them where they're going to go it's just like you know they um, it's not a real concern. The workers were terminated two weeks ago and given an opportunity to reapply their union charges, the AHA used the reorganization to get rid of employees with a great deal of seniority. The class action suit has been filed to force reinstatement. Administrative workers also felt the personnel cutbacks, empty desks at the AHA office were evidence of the 117 who were out of work today. Some of their complaints parallel those of the maintenance workers. Maud Croft worked for the Housing Authority for 23 years until Friday. It was not fair to the people who had been here for so long to have to go when others had been here only six to eight months and they kept their jobs. And I will draw a very small pension from 1971 to 1981. I do not know how much it will be. No, it will not be enough for me to live on. I am a widow of four years. I live alone and I do not know what I'm going to do. The cuts in personnel have been made, but the story is far from over. The union will continue fighting for the maintenance workers' jobs, and it remains to be seen how well the AHA will be able to maintain their property with 134 fewer maintenance workers. John McKnight, Action News.